Hey guys, it's Joy here and I just finished detangling my hair and I thought this would be a great time to do a natural hair video. So I'm going to be talking about my natural hair journey, the products I use, how I reach waist length natural hair, my favorite tips, kind of like a montage video. And we can go off of this one to see what you guys want to know more in detail about. So make sure you do requests in the comments and subscribe and like this video if you are new to my channel. So we're going to get right into the video and let's just talk about my hair for, for a little bit. So I have 4C hair and I also have really thin strands. My hair looks thick but I remember... I used to get it straightened when I was little and my hair was thin, it never had volume. So let's just start about when I was little. So I used to get my hair straightened at the hair salon every two weeks. My sister was a hairstylist, I would just go to her and she would get that pressed. And then I all of a sudden realized that I didn't have curls anymore. I literally had bone straight hair, it looked like I had a perm and I thought that was normal. I thought, okay, you get your hair straightened a lot, your hair just goes straight. Um, it was heat damage and it was my whole head and I will insert a picture of that. So that took me up until uh, my sophomore year of high school. So August of my sophomore year of high school, which was about four years ago, um, I had my last hair straightened and my hair straightened was uh, shoulder length. Um, I think it came down to here straightened. Yeah, so it was like armpit length straightened, and it never grew longer than that while it was straightened. I used to get braids and stuff. I was a competitive swimmer, so I was always in chlorine and such, so I would have braids during swim season. So after fall of sophomore year, I found natural YouTube, and I was like, oh wow, like I have heat damage. So I was like, do I have to cut it off? Do I have to cut it off? Everyone said yes, but I did not want to get rid of my length, so I did not cut it off. And this is my hair um, completely cured itself because I did a daily regimen of complete health restoration and for some people that is not possible um, it took about a year and a half for my hair to revert back to the original curl pattern completely so that took me up until mid of my junior year of high school which was like three years ago so then once it reverted back um, it was so horrible because my twist styles didn't work like I was wearing some crazy styles insert pick um, because My hair was just not curly. It was heat damage. So We had that and so after that um, I started doing more research I was like dang I want waist length hair, but it was like I had to be patient So I had to start thinking more about health rather than length. So I just did some daily regimens um, I wasn't really that big on protective styling um, when I was still swimming in high school um, I did have braids, but then other than that I tried to just do twist outs I did twist outs like every day for the longest time um, just because it forced me to moisturize my hair every night um, But twist outs didn't really work for me. So I switched to braid outs and that's what I do now I'm currently just in I just combed out my hair because it was looking ratchet. So let's get into um, Products um, I've used the same products basically my whole journey first the Cantu shea butter leave-in conditioner my hair loves this stuff I've been through so many jars of this and It's just something that my hair really loves. I use it as a actual conditioner so when I shampoo um, I put this on my hair and then um, as a conditioner and then when I moisturize I use this as a conditioner second shampoo so I basically don't shampoo my hair that often I shampoo my hair um, every four weeks sometimes I went up to six weeks now I'm switching things up and going to two weeks um, just because my hair was adjusting to the new summer weather so I needed to wash a little bit more often but usually I'm four weeks um, I wash it and then I use the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo um, since I've been natural this is my second bottle that's how little I use a lot of shampoo in my hair so using less shampoo and more conditioner definitely helped my hair grow um, lastly my trusty water spray bottle if you are not using water on your hair daily, um, you need to do that because it is the first source of moisture that your hair gets. When I go to bed at night, um, I spray with water, 
put on shea butter or the Cantu and then I braid it up and I do that every night. If I wanna wear my hair out, if I'm wearing my hair up, then I'll just moisturize it, then put it back up. And as far as hair tools, I have a Denman brush, which um, I just got an off-brand one. And, oh, it says Denman, maybe it's not off-brand, but I think I got it off of Amazon and I took every other row out because I remember um, Natural doing that in her video, so I did that. Um, and then I have this wide tooth comb. So you definitely wanna limit how much you're combing and brushing your hair. Um, finger detangling is king. Um, I only use those tools if um, maybe like once a month when I really need to get the tangles out of my hair. But other than that, I'm finger detangling. So that's something that will also eliminate breakage for you guys. So that's an overview of my routine. I'm not a product junkie. I literally can never do um, what are they called? Wash and goes. My hair does not do that because my shrinkage, I'll post a picture of my shrinkage. Um, like my hair just shrinks up so much no matter what products I use. Um, if you have any eliminating products that help with 4C wash and goes, comment them below, but they probably won't work. Um, yeah, so I just stick with my main products and let's do some length things just so you can see my shrinkage. Yeah, so basically this is just going to start the conversation for our natural hair videos on my channel. Um, I want to know what you guys want to know. Um, I can do a video on having natural hair in college, but I basically have kept the same routine um, throughout all of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is what it looks like from the back. And I want to hear your questions, so I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!